Hi, I'm Bill Jones with Bill Jones Music. I'd like to take a minute and talk to you about getting the right instrument for a child to begin music lessons, specifically keyboard lessons. And bear in mind that these thoughts are my opinions based on the experience I've had in my 42 years of the music business. A lot of parents will come to us with a small keyboard that they've designed, that's been designed to have some fun with, but it may not be the best learning alternative to start a young child. Often I hear parents say, well, we just like to test their skill on something inexpensive, and if they do better, then we'll go ahead and get them a real instrument. There's some problems with that as I see it. The first problem comes up in that this isn't a full keyboard. When a teacher asks you to sit down to a piano or a digital piano to learn music, the first thing they show you is, where's middle C? And middle C is where you line the center of your body up with the center of the piano. On these very short keyboards, this is a C key, this is a C key, but there's no C key in the middle. It's not like on a regular piano. So the first thing that happens, a child goes to line up after being at lessons, do I play here? Do I play here? It can be very confusing. And the last thing we want to do is confuse the student. The second problem that we run into is these keys on this inexpensive of a unit are not what we call velocity sensitive. And what that means is, if you're a beginner learning music, you have a symbol here, the music teacher tells you that you want to play loud. F stands for forte, play loud. P tells you to play soft. One of the first things the teacher says is, let's learn how to play with proper technique. Well, on this piano, if I hit it hard for loud, I get a sound. If I hit it soft, I get the same sound. It doesn't go loud or soft. So the student can learn no technique on a small instrument like this. Finally, probably one of the biggest problems is the weight of the keys. And it's a little hard to show on a video, but this key has no weight to it whatsoever. When I go to push it down, it's just a little off and on switch. It doesn't, it, there's just no weight behind it. Now let's look at a traditional piano or a digital piano that's built somewhat the same as a traditional piano. Okay, so here I am at an 88 key digital piano. Same number of keys, same size of keys as a regular acoustic piano. And of course, the same thing applies to acoustic pianos. The first thing that happens is middle C, right here in the middle of the keyboard. The first thing you tell a beginning student, line the center of your body up with middle C. It works here. It doesn't oftentimes work on little keyboards. The next thing that we know is these have proper velocity sensitivity. If I'm going to play this softly or loudly, it's all there. I can develop technique. Additionally, the keys have weight, and I'll turn the volume down, but as I press on these, you can't really see it because you can't feel it over the video but there is up and down pressure. It's not just an off and on key like a, the keys on a little tiny toy keyboard. So it, it's not that you can't use one of those. I don't, want to, uh, I don't want to say that it can't be done, but I know my experience has been that oftentimes when we start a student on something so inexpensive that it's not much more than a toy, what ends up happening is, again, in my experience, the child loses interest before they develop enough skill to really enjoy the music. At the risk of being a little facetious, let me grab these. I personally believe that those small keyboards are to learning how to play a piano as these toy golf clubs are, as to learning how to play golf. You could have some fun with these in the backyard, but Tiger Woods probably didn't start this way. And really, you need a real instrument, not just a toy, to learn how to play the piano and even to test someone's skill or interest. Thanks.